have some recap about exercise for fitness. Let's have a recap in exercise for fitness. Remember that we discussed about physical activity, exercise, and physical fitness. Physical activity involves any bodily movement caused by skeletal muscle and result in the expenditure of energy. Exercise is a planned program of physical activities that aims to improve physical fitness components and increase physical fitness level. Exercise can be classified to aerobic exercise, resistance exercise, and stretching exercise. All the exercises are incorporated in the exercise plan, which is a detailed plan of the work that the individual has to perform to achieve his or her fitness goals. And lastly, is the physical fitness. Physical fitness is a condition that allows the body to effectively cope with the demands of daily activities and still has the energy to enjoy other active and leisure activities. It has two components, health-related fitness components and skin-related fitness components. Don't forget about the barriers or the reasons why you tend to be active. These are the personal factors that avoid you to have a physical activities and simple exercises. And as a student, we are 100% sure that you already know the solutions on how to have an active lifestyle. And now, let's proceed to our new lesson. This is Ms. Jaya Bonagua, your topic instructor in Principles of Training. At the end of the week, this lesson aims to number one, Understand the frequency, intensity, time, and type or FITT principle as a guide in designing exercise program. Number two, identify personal fitness goals using the SMART guidelines. Number three, perform the physical fitness test. And last, number four, design and create an individual exercise program. Lesson number two. Let's talk about principle of trainings. As we involve in various training and exercises, our body adjusts, adopts, and responds. Our bones, muscle, tendons, ligaments become stronger and more functional. The only way to achieve fitness is to progressively engage in activities that challenge the body. Person who do not show any symptoms of disease or injuries does not mean he or she is healthy and fit. Remember that health and fitness are terms that are not interchangeable. Health or kalusugan refers to the presence or absence of disease and injury while fitness or pagkakaroon ng maayos at malusog na pangangatawan refers to the functional capacity of the body to perform movement. There are various principles of exercise training that helps to determine the proper amount of stress or load that will stimulate the body to adapt and avoid or minimize wrist injury. These principles are specificity, overload, progression, variety, reversibility, rest and recovery, and last, differences. This principle of exercise training that helps to determine the proper amount of stress or load that will stimulate the body to adapt and avoid or minimize risk of injury. These principles are specificity, overload, progression, variety, reversibility, rest and recovery, and last, differences. So first, what is specificity? 
training should be specific to sports perform. If you are trying to improve your racing times or isa kang runner, you should focus on speed workouts such as running and sprinting. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-training ng pang volleyball or ng pang swimmer. So be specific. Second, overload. What is overload? Overload can be done by changing the exercise routine or increasing the length of training by adding routines. To body must work harder than normal or what is used to in order for it to adopt or improve. Third, progression. Training must increase gradually, not too slowly or too rapidly as the body adjusts to increase demands being made on it. Pwede kang mag-training sa first week ng isang beses, second week, dalawang beses, and then pangatlong linggo naman ay eh, pwede ka nang mag-training ng tatlong beses. Next, reversibility. The loss of adaptation that athletes gain during training because of a prolonged break period. Halimbawa na nandito, yung mga atletang na-aksidente, syempre, pinagpapahinga sila or nagkakaroon sila ng mahabang pahinga or break para makarecover kaagad sa aksidente yung nangyari. At sa pagkabalik nila sa training, posible silang manibago or manibago sa training or sa gagawin. Next is variety. Variety of training method should be used and applied to prevent boredom or lack of interest. It is also can incorporate both resistance and aerobic exercise. Next, differences. We all have differences in terms of age, sex, body composition, and mental condition, and among others. This means that exercise training should be individualized to suit the needs and interests of an individual. Some individual responds better in resistant training, while others responds better to aerobics training. Last, rest and recovery. Our body needs time to rest and recover from working out. So, huwag natin abusuhin ang katawan at dahil ang katawan natin ay napapagod din. Same as with our mental health. And next, let's have okay. And next, let's have the FITT principle. FITT means frequency Intensity, time, and type. Frequency, meaning how often you will exercise. Intensity, amount of effort or work. Time, how long you will exercise. Type, what are the type of exercise? Next, how to apply the FITT principle. According to the FITT principle, an exercise program should include the activities and exercises that will help improve the health-related fitness components. Cardiovascular endurance the ability of your body to deliver oxygen to working muscle during physical activity and exercise and it deals with our heart we all know that our heart pump blood carries oxygen and nutrients to the body next muscular strength this is the ability of the muscle to exert a maximal amount of force in a single maximal effort Muscular endurance. 
the ability of the muscle to exert force repeatedly or for an extended period of time. Flexibility The ability of the muscle and joints to move through its full range of motion. And now, we are here on the last part of lesson 2. The exercise program. Individual school, current fitness level, medical conditions, age, sex, availability of time, skills, and interests are among the factors that need to consider in developing a personal exercise program. A personal program or a personal exercise program does not need to include all the health-related fitness components. The selection of which components to focus should be based upon on the individual's fitness goal and consider whether the goals are S, M, A, R, T, or SMART. Let's have the objectives of SMART. S Is your goal specific? You should have a direct target objective so that you can 100% certain that you achieve it. M. Measurable. Is your goal measurable? Your objective should be measurable so that you can track down your progress along the way. A. Achievable. Is your goal achievable? Your goal should be challenging, but not too difficult or impossible to reach. It should be achievable within the availability of your time. Or, relevant. Is your goal relevant? Your goal should be designed in a way that helps you improve your fitness and physical activity. T. Time bound. Is your goal time bound? For you to have a realistic action plan, you need to set a deadline for you to have an establishment time frame to meet your goal. So that is the SMART. So paano ba magkaroon ng maayos na exercise program? So first, dapat meron tayong pre-participation screening na kung tawagin at evaluation of fitness level. So what is pre-participation screening? So, it, it is always best to start any undertaking with a plan. So, dapat lagi tayo may plano. In designing an exercise program, assessment process, or pre-participation screening is essential to identify the presence of medical condition, health risks, and physical limitation of an individual. In some cases, an intense physical activity may lead to cardiac arrest or asthma attack. These events can be prevented if a pre-participation screening is undertaken. So, ginagawa ito bago tayo mag-start ng kahit na anong physical activity or physical exam. So, for example, nagkakaroon muna tayo ng physical fitness test para malaman natin kung sino ba may mga hika or kung sino ba yung mga estudyante na nagkaroon na ng past medical condition or meron tinatawag na asthma at kung ano pang sakit ang meron. So, kaya hinihingi muna ni teacher or ni PE teacher ang iyong mga medical certificate sa simula ng klase. Next, evaluation of fitness level. There are several basic tests that can be performed to evaluate health-related fitness level. Make sure to seek medical clearance and follow safety precautions. Example, doing warm-up and cool-down, wearing proper attire or PE uniform during class before and after performing these tests. In order to get the best result of your workout program, you need to apply the principles of training. It will help you to know what is best and right for you. Thank you for watching. If you have questions and clarifications, don't hesitate to ask your physical education instructor. Bye-bye.